Here's another web page which is on homeschooling. Let's start off again by looking for information on the author. This page doesn't have an author listed and there is no about link at the top or bottom of the page. In this case, one thing you can do is go to the main website this page is a part of. We can do that by clicking on a home link if provided in the navigation, or by deleting everything after the domain extension and the URL at the top of the browser. Here, the author introduces herself. She says that she has studied psychology and early childhood development, but she doesn't mention having degrees, so we don't know if she studied formally or informally. She is also a parent and uses her real-life experiences with her children as a basis for the article she writes. Back to the original article, she gives positives, and negatives about homeschooling. Like with the Tree Octopus website, you would want to look up other sources about homeschooling to see if there is agreement with what she has written here. From an objectivity point of view, both sides of the issue are addressed, so the source is relatively unbiased. We can continue on evaluating by looking at the currency. Look for publication, posting, or update dates. It looks like this web page doesn't have an obvious date listed. In that case, use clues in the text to see if you can tell anything about the age. If the author refers to other sources, can you tell how old or new they are? Under the Benefits of Homeschooling section, a study from 2003 is mentioned. Could trends with homeschooling have changed enough in that time to make you question the information? Here, an article she references is from 2007. Finally, when it comes to coverage, what type of site is this? It's a .com site, which means the author could get a financial benefit from the ads which appear on the pages. It appears to be more of a blog personally written by the author with her experiences and some research, and it would appear that the target audience is other parents raising their children as opposed to researchers on child development. You would want to put the answers to all of your evaluation questions together to make an overall decision on whether or not you wanted to use this for your research. If you need personal accounts from a parent, this may be a good choice. However, if you're looking for current academic research on the effects of homeschooling on children, you would probably want to pass this over and look for something else. So that's the process of evaluation. Be flexible in how you look at each source. Your topic will guide you towards choosing current or historical sources, information from experts or average people, and balanced or one-sided points of view. Your research need will assist you in knowing how much to consider one criteria over another. For example, for sources you need for a paper on a medical topic, you will want to evaluate for all the criteria mentioned earlier but you may want to focus a little more on currency and authority to make sure the sources you choose are up to date and from experts in the field. If you ever have questions about evaluating a source, ask a librarian. We are great at helping you determine the usefulness of a source.